The nice thing about opposing viewpoints is that it is built from argumentative topics. These are viewpoints, and they have to be in opposition with each other, so that suggests argumentation. You can see that there are issues uh, below. There's Supreme Court. These are sort of featured issues, Black Lives Matter, and voting laws. These are going to change over time depending on the particular uh, issues in the headlines, and um, you can explore those topics in greater detail. Down below, you'll see that you can browse issues based on large categories like uh, health and medicine, national debate topics, war and diplomacy, so society and culture, and you'll see the number of articles underneath those categories. So they're just going to show you the top three uh, that have been updated or recently included into the categories. But let's go ahead and take a look at society and culture. If I'm browsing through looking for topics, if I'm interested in uh, freedom of speech or free trade, I can select that. And what I should see is a series of topics or categories on the general topic of freedom of speech. It will provide me an overview of this category or this topic. And then down below, you'll see on this page, I have a variety of different types of information. Now, some of these sources are going to be informative. It's things like uh, infographics, like three infographics. Newspaper articles are going to be informative because they're reporting information. They're not trying to persuade us of anything. Academic journals typically are going to be also inf informational. The ones I'm looking for are viewpoints. So here I have 409 viewpoints. I also see featured viewpoints. There are 11. Those are the ones that they have deemed are really of, of greatest interest. So if I'm looking at the featured viewpoints, or if I want to go into viewpoints in general, what I'm going to get with that is a listing of articles that are opinion pieces or are editorials. And in this case, they will have one side that they're advocating for. So here we have something, uh, Dave Chappelle, First Amendment only safe because of the Second Amendment. Uh, we have former Time Magazine editors wrong. America doesn't need hate speech laws. So these are clearly opinion pieces. And you can click on that and then analyze that as an argumentative text. They're coming from a variety of different sources. Top ones from Washington Post. You'll have some others as you go through. You'll see New York Times and other resources as well. So if I want to look at student journalists, free speech rights must be protected, I would click on that particular item. And then I'll have the article itself to look at as a, an opinion piece or an argumentative essay. I can then save to my Google Drive or my Microsoft OneDrive. I can email, download, or I can print this item and um, use it for my research if I need to. If you have any questions about this particular resource, don't hesitate to reach out to a librarian. We're always here to help. Take care.